Hey everybody, welcome back to Whiteboard Finance. My name is Marco and I'm here to help you master your money and build your wealth. Today's video, I'm going to answer 17 questions from people that I received on Instagram. Well, I received a lot more than that, but I kind of cherry picked the 17 that I wanted to answer for this video. Uh, I think it'll apply to a lot of people and a lot of people have the same questions. Uh, so I figured why not make this kind of a video. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, uh, check out the hashtag above or the at symbol above. Uh, my name is simply just whiteboard finance. So I post mostly cooking videos and stuff like that. So it may not necessarily be 100% finance related, but I also post little snippets of financial news as well. Um, so let, without further ado, uh, what I wanna explain is, if you actually take a look at this screenshot, I kind of posted on my story saying, I'm going to make a fan questions video. Um, so what finance related questions do you have? So without further ado, let's get right into it. So number one is if you had $100,000 to invest right now, what would you do with it? Um, so my answer to that is nothing, literally nothing. I would put that away, I would sit on it, and I would just kind of stack my war chest. If you guys saw my 2020 recession video, I think having a ton of cash right now is gonna be vital, um, just because I think a lot of stuff is gonna get a little shaky within an upcoming year or so, uh, especially after the 2020 election. So 100 grand sitting in my bank account, not doing anything with it right now. So. The next question is, uh, hi Marco, Connor Morris here. What is the best advice you have been given slash gave out? So the best advice I've ever been given was probably by my grandpa. Uh, he just told me at a very young age, if you don't have cash for it, you can't afford it. You know, it's kind of old school immigrant mentality, but hey, you know, it got me to where I am today. So I, have to, I can't thank him enough for that. Um, the best advice that I've given out is definitely pay yourself first. So uh, if you've read The Richest Man in Babylon or watched my video on the seven best financial books that changed my life, um, the first one is The Richest Man in Babylon and that's where I learned that pay yourself first idea from. Next question is, could you tell me how I can predict the next upcoming recession? Um, this person is talking about writing a paper, the message got cut off but I assume it's for school. Um, so metrics aside, just take a look at the bigger picture of what the economy and what the Federal Reserve is doing. So I'm speaking primarily from an American or person living in United States perspective. Like the Fed is lowering rates month after month. They only do that when they need to keep money cheap or kind of stimulate the economy. Um, $87 billion was just in injected into the overnight uh, repo market, which kind of keeps banks afloat overnight. Uh, manufacturing is literally in a recession right now. Uh, the phase one China trade deal that was just negotiated a couple of days ago was a big nothing burger. Nothing absolutely came from that. And then gold and silver prices are going up higher and higher, um, which shows you know, where people are really putting their money where their mouth is. Um, so typically when you're looking at recession indicators, there's a lot of GDP metrics, there's a lot of economic metrics you can look at, but just take a step back and see what's actually happening in reality. Uh, sometimes when you kind of live in the stock market, you get lost in the ticker symbols. Take a step back, see what the Fed is doing, see what uh, the economy is actually doing, and see what the global uh, trade, trade economy is doing with China and things like that. So I hope that answers your question. Uh, best credit cards to get, build points with, and pay off every month. Um, so I personally have the uh, Chase Sapphire Reserve, and that's what I use for my wife and I for our travels. Uh, I made a video about how Dave Ramsey is wrong about credit cards. Um, I actually have his book sitting right here, um, The Total Money Makeover. Uh, so ultimately, um, he's, I explained my reasoning why. Okay, I'm not gonna go down that rabbit hole again, but I explained my reason why I have a credit card and I use it respons responsibly, and I get a ton of benefits from that, okay? Uh, the next one is, what is the most important financial knowledge to know while finishing college? Um, definitely, in my opinion, it's going to be pay off your debt if you have any, those student loans. Knock that out and get rid of it, okay? Don't even think twice about it. And then also, if you do graduate college and you get into a better paying job, just watch your lifestyle inflation. Like when you're in college, you're kind of living off you know, the rice and beans, the ramen noodles, you know, you're partying and having a good time. Um, but ultimately, you know, you need to check your spending because when you get that big boy or big girl job, uh, the first thing you want to do is, you know, move into a nicer apartment or get a nicer car or, you know, travel the world. Um, I'm not against traveling or experiences, especially in your 20s, um, but just be careful with lifestyle inflation for sure. 
the next one is I'm in my late 50s, never invested before, where should I start? So if it's possible, start maxing out your 401k. Um, I did just say that the stock market may hit the fan here pretty soon, um, but starting uh, late is better than never. I guess there's a Japanese proverb that says, uh, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago, the next best time is today. Um, so definitely try and max out that 401k. And at age 50 and older, you can start uh, with catch-up contributions, meaning that they'll actually allow you to contribute more than the, the regular max, okay? So check out a 401k if you're in your 50s. Okay, so the next question, I'm flipping through a couple of these that I already answered on uh, Instagram. Um, Jeezy or Gucci, Mitch or Rico, Adidas or Puma? I said neither, I said Nike. What do you guys like, Adidas or Puma? I'm going with Nike, sorry. Good steak or great chicken? Uh, I went with great chicken just because mediocre steak doesn't really hit the same. Uh, Lloyd Banks or Jim Jones? Definitely Lloyd Banks. Okay, here's the next financial related question. <laughs> Um, we should all be saving, but what should it be going to first? House, car, emergency, etc. So this is a great question. I think this is from a younger person, and it's a very astute question from someone that age. Uh, basically, I would start knocking out all the debt first and building up that emergency fund. Then you can start saving up for you know the things that you don't necessarily need. Um, if your car is um, tied to your income, if you absolutely have to have a car to get to work, Obviously, having reliable transportation is important, and I guess that would be number one. However, if your car is okay, um, definitely go for the emergency fund first, you know, pay off that debt, um, and then also start saving up for you know, the house and things that you know you want later on in life. But I would definitely shoot for no debt and three to six months of emergency, okay? Next one is self-employed income strategies relating to taxes. Who to hire to help you plan your corporate dot, dot, dot. I couldn't finish the message. Um, so ultimately, this goes back to a lot of my real estate videos. Your team is your most important asset and you have to have a good CPA and a good legal team behind you if you do have a business. Um, I'm not going to go into any like shady tax strategies, not that I would do this, but I know people overseas that have shell companies in Cyprus and Bahamas and all that stuff. Those are all tax havens. Uh, if you read the Panama Papers, you would see how much royalty, professional athletes, all these people had shell companies down in Panama. Um, so just be very careful with that. I wouldn't play those games. Life is too short to you know, lose sleep over something like that. So get with a good CPA, get with a good lawyer. Um, how to get out of seven days working nonstop. So I hate when I hear questions like this because you know, this is not the American dream. No one, no one comes here or lives here to work seven days a week. That's not a life, okay? That's, that's, a, that's a terrible existence in my opinion. Um, so my, I guess my answer to that would have to be um, you know, start a side hustle and stop trading your time for money, okay? So whenever you trade your time for money, you're always tied to the dollar. You're always tied to the hourly rate. You're literally trading your time for money. Uh, if you start a side hustle that's passive, whether it's investing in real estate or um, you know, starting a YouTube channel, whatever, um, basically you don't have to trade your time for dollars anymore. Like I, make, I may make this video once and it may earn me money day after day, even though I'm not physically maintaining the video anymore. Um, so if you wanna learn how to stop trading your time for money or you wanna learn how to actually start a YouTube class or a YouTube channel, um, check out my YouTube course below, uh, join the waiting list. I will be launching that very soon here. Uh, I'll take you from A to Z on how to start your own YouTube channel. Um, this is my full-time gig. I've been doing this since July full-time, earning a you know, very uh, handsome income. So the next one, living in Ireland, blah, blah, blah. How would you invest 5K cash today? Um, so how I would invest $5,000 if I absolutely had to spend that five grand and not sit on it and build my war chest, kind of how I answered in question one, um, it would be kind of like a mix between real estate, uh, precious metals, and investing in myself and starting a business or a side hustle that I just talked about. So that's how I would invest five grand today. Um, what retirement savings advice would you give to a couple aged 50 with very little savings? So as I told the other person before, I would start maxing out my 401k if possible and also the Roth IRA if possible. If you can contribute to both those, I would definitely do that because you can't bank on social security or social security programs any longer. Um, I think that's, excuse me, by the time I hit that age, that's gonna be far from depleted. Um, it'll be long gone. So have to take out student loans for dental school, government or private loans, okay? 
So I'm gonna go with government on this one just because they're usually fixed interest rate and it's a lower interest rate. If you can get a fixed and lower private loan, you know, maybe go the private route. However, the couple other pros to the government route are that you can actually have them forgiven uh, at some point, knock on wood, I don't know if that's ever gonna happen, but that is a possibility for certain occupations and certain programs. Uh, and then also, uh, they can't go away with bankruptcy. So that's another thing you have to be cognizant about. Uh, when you do go the federal route, you can't bankrupt that away. Um, you can, but it's very, very difficult. So be careful with that. Uh, finance is overwhelming. How do you take the right baby steps to learn it right? So I think that starting with <laughs> Dave Ramsey's seven baby steps is a uh, pretty good start. Um, but ultimately, finance doesn't have to be overwhelming. It's very simple. If you just manage your finances like your grandma did, you have nothing to worry about. You know, don't buy stuff that you can't afford. Um, it's kind of like having a healthy diet. Are you consuming too many calories and sitting on the couch? Or are you running hill sprints and doing pull-ups and push-ups and eating chicken breast and broccoli? It all just depends on what you want to do. Um, if you want to, you know, overextend yourself with credit and debt, you know, you're probably drinking soda and sitting on the couch. That's the diet equivalent of doing that. Um, if you're, you know, watching, you, have, you create a budget, you're watching what you spend, you only spend on things that you absolutely must have and like, that gives you some pleasure in life, then you're probably eating the chicken and the broccoli. Okay, which artist or rapper do you feel did their best financing? <laughs> okay, I'm not going to answer that. I answered that on Instagram. Uh, who got you into finance? Who are some real living heroes to you? Um, I answered me, myself, and I. Uh, my parents are immigrants. My grandparents are immigrants. I didn't, you know, I didn't have like a silver spoon in my mouth. I just uh, had an interest in finance on my own. Uh, let's see, a couple more here. How can I make a career out of finance without paying $100,000 for college? Okay, well, that's a very good question. Um, finance is one of those fields that's very broad, but if you want to work and make the kind of money that most people in finance make, uh, you're definitely going to need a four or a six year degree or like a master's program. Um, what I would recommend if you absolutely are against going to college, um, I would get some sort of maybe even like community college associates degree, start in uh, the bank maybe as like a teller and try and work your, up, work your way up that way, even though that's kind of the retail aspect. Um, if you want to work in the back office, you know, that's a little bit different. You'll get paid more. Um, it's also kind of boring. You sit in a cubicle all day and just analyze stuff. Or you can be client facing as a actual banker. So middle market commercial banker, um, those are pretty lucrative roles and you can start lending to businesses as opposed to just, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Smith down the street. So good question. Uh, how should an emergency fund be invested? So this is a very good question. An emergency fund should either be um, where it's easily accessible or easily liquid, okay? Depending on the severity of, you know, where the economy goes and the banking system goes. Um, some people say crypto. Some people say a money market account. Some people say savings. Some people say checking. Some people say their mattress or a safe. Um, you know, I'm probably somewhere in the middle. Um, I keep my biggest savings in a money market account, um, but that's not to say I don't have, you know, a little bit of cash on me in person as well. Okay, so... Uh, I've almost paid off all my debt except the mortgage, now what? So A, you already kind of answered your own question. Pay off the debt, you already know what to do there. Um, the mortgage, depending on how big it is and what the interest rate is, you may just want to let it ride, okay? If you're in super cheap money, you know, anything under maybe 4% at this point, um, maybe just let it ride because you can make more money elsewhere. However, if you want peace of mind, you know, try and pay off the mortgage sooner than later. However, the time value of money doesn't really make sense to do that. Money is only going to get cheaper because of inflation. Um, so it may actually make sense just to kind of chill and, you know, pay that mortgage off month by month as opposed to early. Um, however, not, if you want to sit on that, if you want to sit on the mortgage, I would take that extra money after your debt payments are being paid off. Uh, and I would use those extra payments towards uh, funding a retirement account. So retirement is super important. And then if you already have a you know, fully funded retirement account or you're sitting at a million bucks, then I'd pay off the mortgage. Okay. So I think that's pretty much everything here, you guys. Uh, do you have any pets? Here's a bonus question. Do you have any pets? Uh, not right now. I like dogs though. And is this finance related? I don't think so. A um, couple other questions there, you guys. But ultimately, you know, those are the 17 in a bonus. I just wanted to go through that. Um, I think this is a great video. If you need to rewind this, please do so because a lot of these questions are basic, but they're important and a lot of people are asking the same stuff. So if you got value out of this video, please share it with one friend, share it on social media, share it on LinkedIn because I know a lot of people are asking these kinds of questions 
and my goal is to help as many people as possible. So without further ado, you guys, have a prosperous day. Thank you for watching and subscribe and like the video if you haven't already. Thank you. Dear Marco, I absolutely love your channel. You are the best. Do you take private one-on-one -on -one cons consultations? I can pay you with a back massage. Ooh, ooh, very nice. Maybe I'll take you up on that. Big Billy 618. Never mind. <laughs>